when I'm producing something, um, what I'm looking for is something to, to uh, engage in. Um, I don't really think about the audience as far as what I think they might be interested in. First, I have to be interested in it. And I, I really believe, and I mentioned this in, in one of the uh, 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 panels, that, that you only need one person to say yes. Um, and, and so I'm less concerned about the market, the trends, um, the things that, that other people are thinking that they want, because by that time, it's, it's old news. If you're talking about, oh, it's like Empire is, is very successful. Well, somebody did that. That doesn't mean that, that, that what the networks are all going to want ne next year, this year, uh, are you know, soaps in an interesting arena. But that's been true forever. I mean, you can go back to Grey's Anatomy. You can go back to ER. You can go back to uh, NYPD Blue. You can go back to Dynasty in Dallas. This is just another version of that. And so, so I try not to um, follow what is successful and look to replicate it. I just respond to what I like. And if it's something that, that is similar to what's out there, but I've really engaged in it, I'm not afraid to, to be bringing something else to the marketplace that's similar to what's working, obviously. Uh, that can be a good thing. And if they're not making those kinds of shows at all right now, I'm not afraid to say, well, this could be the first one. So um, to be innovative and bold just means following your, your own uh, taste and enthusiasm for things and not worry about what you think other people are going to think. I think what's important about pitching for television is to be very clear about what the series is. The difference between movies and television is that the movie is a one-time beginning, middle, and an end. And with television, what you really need to be able to share with your, your audience, the people that you're pitching to, is what's the idea, what's the pilot, and what happens for 75 or 100 episodes, because that's really what people want to know. Is there a series in there? And sometimes the most interesting ideas are not television series. They might be more appropriate for a limited series or for a movie. Um, and I think that one of the things that we found in that session was that people didn't really understand until we shared this with them how important it is to, to set up the series because in the end, without that, no one is going to be interested. Well, I think the most important thing is to start with being very clear about why you want to tell the story because people respond to enthusiasm and passion. Um, it's important to, to be able to say what your idea is in one or two sentences at the beginning. So from that point on, the audience, uh, whomever is listening to that pitch, knows exactly what the parameters are, what the box that you're in for telling that story. Marshall Herskovitz, who I hope you're going to have an opportunity to talk to, had a really interesting, which I had never heard before, about being able to pitch, you know, you first tell it in one sentence, then you tell it in, in three sentences, and then you tell it in ten sentences. And he was saying that, that if you can boil it down to one, three, and ten, and, and not so much repeat yourself, but you know, expand upon where you started, there's something really, really uh, terrific about that discipline which makes you boil things down to a simple, simple um, story or a simple idea. Um, people have very short attention spans. Um, it used to be in the 80s, there were, there were producers who were going in and selling ideas on one line and people would buy them. Those days are long gone. Um, the development money doesn't exist the way it used to. The, the broadness of the kinds of movies in particular that the studios are making um, has, has shrunk. Um, but, but a great idea is only a, a, as good as the way you sell that idea.